YouTube how's it going the goat house is back after that shit show of a game on Thursday night football I mean I'm here to talk about Miles Garrett Pouncey Mason Rudolph my thoughts on the suspensions what the suspension should be but that game was awful I mean that, that game the whole way through was just absolutely terrible I mean you got the Steelers turning the ball over Mason Rudolph turned the ball over like crazy uh, and you got an insane amount of injuries, and you got Demarius Randall getting ejected, and you got what feels like the Browns dominating the game, but not really dominating that game because they just couldn't move the ball anymore. We got shanked field goals. Terrible, terrible play calling on both sides. Third down, fourth down, a lot of failed fourth down conversions. Mason Rudolph going from taking sacks to, no, I'll just throw the ball up. It's fourth down, though. I mean, not all of his fault because it's terrible play design, but all that's terrible game. And that we, then we got what happened at the end of the game um, and then the suspensions which came out today. And I kind of want to give my thoughts. I didn't, ex I didn't expect them to give out the suspensions this early. You know, there's still more to be decided, obviously. But I just did not get, think they would uh, already get on top of this, so credit the NFL. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to kind of give my thoughts and what I thought the suspensions would be. I was kind of going to predict the suspensions, but, again, they already came out with them. So, surprised by that. Uh, before I actually get into that, we do have a subscriber goal of 40k subscribers here at the Goat House. So please subscribe. We're trying to get there by 2020. Full NFL content here, recaps, power rankings, predictions for every game, every single week in the offseason draft and free agency coverage, of course. So please subscribe, click that like button, check us out on Twitter. Always tweeting. We were tweeting during uh, all this nonsense last night, but... The suspensions. Miles Garrett suspended without pay indefinitely at least the rest of the season. So, still to be determined, I guess, uh, on that suspension. But uh, I'm guessing they'll, you never know. I'm guessing they'll take their time on that because they have time. He's suspended the rest of the season. But I feel like they have to let Miles Garrett know. Um, not that they owe him that, but I feel like he should know how long exactly he's going to be suspended for. Uh, Marquise Pouncey suspended three games and fined, and Larry Ogunjobi of the Browns suspended one game and fined. Find other players involved may be fined as well. Um, so my thoughts, and this is weird because, like I said, I was gonna do this video and kind of say what who who should get suspended and how long, and and kind of predict, but it's already happened. Um, I mean, we'll start with Mason Rudolph because I woke up this morning and a lot of people, uh, you know, just trying to blame Mason Rudolph for this and saying he should be suspended at least one game. I saw a lot of people saying he should be suspended multiple games, and I I couldn't disagree more. Uh, I'm sure he'll get fined. They, they announced that he will get fined, uh, and Demarius Randall will be, will be fine, but that was a hit in-game. Nothing different there. Um, but yeah, Rudolph will, will be fine because he was trying to rip Miles Garrett's helmet off. It looked like he was kind of grabbing it from the back, um, you know, and then he kind of got in Miles Garrett's face. But I mean, to me, that's, yeah, that's just a big fine. There's no suspension there. If he got his helmet off, maybe a game suspension, but he didn't really, I mean, we just, <clears throat> we're just assuming things at this point. So uh, I'm hundred percent fine with Mason Rudolph, not suspended. Fine. Him being fined is fine. He took a beating all night, you know, whether it was the illegal plays or legal plays, um, Larry Ogan, Joby. Uh, I saw him hit Mason Rudolph last night, <clears throat> and then I saw the interview with him, him saying he was trying to protect um, his teammate, Miles Garrett, like he was trying to help out. You know, he was kind of saying that's just what anybody would have done, and I didn't really make anything of it, but actually, Lewis Riddick, uh, if you saw him this morning, uh, made a very good point and made me go back and re-watch all that. Um, yeah, he, he pretty much lied in, in his uh, post-game interview because he was really nowhere near Miles Garrett. He, you know, Mason Rudolph was standing still. He was done, and he, he went and just drilled him, um, some you know, kind of in his back. And he, you know, Mason Rudolph hit the floor. He didn't have a helmet on either. Uh, I mean, so that's just. And this is when the play's over. I mean, that that could cause for, you know, imagine if Mason Rudolph had his helmet on. He threw the ball and then was just sitting there um, as the play was going on, and Ogan Joby or whoever it is came in and gave him a shot like that late. That, to me, would be a suspension. I think they would suspend him, at least a giant fine, but I think they would suspend him. And this was way, way, way after the play. 
And this is kind of away from the fight at this point. He's got no helmet on. And he just, for just because he felt like it, just because he needed to get in on the action and hit somebody, he went and gave Mason Rudolph a shot. Um, and then he lied about you know his reasoning in the post-game interview. So uh, one game, to me, is really not enough for that. Um, it, it's tough to compare him and Pouncey how many games they should get, but Ogan Joby, Ogan Joby, I'm not too, I'm not too, like, I'm not mad about it that he only got one game. Um, I'm, I'm glad he got, he got a game at least. But to me, if it was up to me, yeah, I would be thinking about two games here because you got, you have to remember, uh, you know, they are gonna appeal it too, which I don't agree with the appealing process because I feel like they make suspensions knowing they're gonna appeal it and they can knock it down a little bit. Just make one decision, make it final to me. Um, that, that's my opinion. Uh, but Ogan Jobia for how it all went down. Like I said, if, if that was like during a play, say Rudolph completed a pass, the receivers trying to run downfield, the play still going. He already threw the ball and just extremely late. Ogan Joby just rocks him. You know, to me that we haven't even seen that. I don't, I can't recall even that. And that would be a suspension. Um, but this was, a. Uh, on a different level. So, I mean, I think he can be suspended more than one game, honestly. But he gets a game. I'm not going to complain, you know, too much about that. You know, that's just... I'm just kind of giving you my point of view here. But I'm not going to go out of my way and say, yeah, he must be suspended more. Uh, Marquise Pouncey suspended three games. And I'm okay with that. Um, I, if I would have made this video before and I would have said what I would have suspended him for. Yeah, I probably would have said two. But kind of thinking that Ogan Joby suspended two, should be suspended two. And adding that Pouncey... Um, you know, was using his foot and kicking Garrett in, in the helmet, not really the head, but the, almost the same thing. Um, you know, it kind of bumps it up, makes it three. And then some people are saying, well, you know, he was just protecting his quarterback, his teammate. And I agree with that, you know, and people are saying they would have done the same thing. And I, I agree too. You just snap, you do that, whatever. Um, but that doesn't make it, that doesn't make it okay. You know, um, he, he had a good cause. He did it for a good cause. He did it for a good reason. We'll say, but that doesn't knock down the suspension. So I agree with the three games. I mean, look at it this way. I mean, it's a little different, but, um, you know, a reason an offensive lineman holds sometimes, just it's for a good reason. He holds and he knows he's committing a penalty because he doesn't want to get his quarterback drilled because he got beat. Um, but it's still a penalty. He did it for a good reason, so it's not a penalty. No, that's not how it works. He did it for a good reason. He did it like anybody else would have done. That doesn't mean it's not a suspension. There's, that doesn't mean there's no punishment. So I'm good with three games. He's going to appeal it. Wouldn't be surprised if they knock it down to two because there's a two-game gap between Ogan, Joby, and Pouncey. I can see there being a one-game gap. So I won't uh, be like upset or anything if they knock it down to two, but I'm good with the three games. And uh, two Miles Garrett, you know, to, to what everyone wants to talk about. A lot of people are probably sick of hearing about this, but I thought, you know, here at the Goat House, I guess I, I got to give my thoughts here, and it's pretty pretty interesting to say the least. But, uh, yeah, the second it happened, and a lot of you know that I tweeted that that he's got to be done for the year. That's a suspension for the year, in my opinion. And after, you know, watching it and really seeing what happened over and over again and kind of sleeping on it and waking up, um, I, I think it's at very, very least, and that's kind of what the NFL is doing here the rest of the year because it's six more games – the Browns have a pretty disappointing season. I know they have an easy schedule and they can make a run, I guess. So that's kind of besides the point. But suspending the guy six games in which is a disappointing season in which the guy is 23 years old right now, he'll be 24, is not really punishing him that much. Like, all right, I get a break. I can work out. I can get ready for next year. I got a whole, whole lot of football in my career. I'm kind of getting away with a lot here. You know, that that's not going to make this guy upset. That's not going to, you know, punish this guy enough, in my opinion. And that, that's kind of what I thought of, uh, you know, as I woke up this morning, really. Uh, and then kind of just looking in to what actually happened. I mean, I mean, the obvious. Everyone knows he used the helmet, the way he used the helmet. He used it as a, it used it as a weapon. And people saying, yeah, what if he hit him with the crown of the helmet? Um, I mean, you can sit here and say, what if the helmet, he didn't try to grip the helmet a certain way. He didn't be, he wasn't careful and tried to hit him in the head in a certain spot or hit him with a certain spot of the helmet. What if it was moved or tilted a certain way? It could have been much worse. I mean, I don't know how Mason Rudolph's okay. To be honest, he kind of hit him with that corner piece of the helmet, like that edge piece right by the, by the ear hole. Um, you know, it, it's, 
I'm surprised it's not worse. And I'm not. I'm surprised the guy doesn't need staples in his head. I mean, what if the guy cracked his head open? What if he was laying on the ground, knocked out, or worse? Where would we be? Where would we be? I mean, the guy would be banned for life. And the only reason that didn't happen is because he maybe because he didn't hit him with the correct spot of the helmet, which he wasn't trying. He he wasn't trying to avoid. He was just grabbing it. He was just gripping it the way he wanted to, and he was gonna hit him as hard as he could. So I mean, this guy is pretty darn close to being banned for life, in my opinion, from the NFL. Uh, I mean, so thinking about all that, and it was a prime time game on top of it, which shouldn't really change it, but the fact that the whole world pretty much got to see it, uh, and he's setting an example, and people can know that um, you know they can do this and only get suspended six games. Um, you know, for all those reasons, for all those reasons. Uh, way more of a punishment needs to be done. And what I came up with, um, you know, before I saw the suspension, which is uh, suspended without pay indefinitely, at least the rest of the season, which I'm good with for now. Uh, but what I decided was, why not a full, and people are saying 16 games, this is basically the same thing when I'm going to say, basically around the same lines here. But what what is wrong with a full year suspension? He is suspended through November 14th, 2020. That that is my decision. If I'm deciding that that is my decision. He is suspended from from right now. Well, today is the 15th, but through the same exact day and I know the day, the the games could be I mean they just played on Thursday night. So he could be suspended 10 games, 10 more, so that's 16 games. Or maybe they have a bye week too. So he suspended somewhere between nine to ten games next next season through this season and next season. Excuse me. So six games this year, and then the next year as well. So that I mean that it to me that's what it should be. That that that's what it should be. So that's basically a full season, but I look at it as a full year. Um. So yeah, basically November fourteenth, two thousand nineteen through November fourteenth, two thousand twenty. I mean, that it's to me, that makes sense. It's logical. Uh, and I think they, they're considering that because what we've never seen what happened. We've seen guys rip each other's helmet off. You know, I'm thinking of Andre Johnson, Cortland Finnegan. I mean, that was – they ripped they ripped each other's helmets off and then Andre Johnson threw a punch. I mean, everybody, everybody here has been in a fight. Anybody listening, most people listening has been, have been in a fight – and throwing some fists, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. It's happened a million times, I mean, more than that. Uh, and this guy's used a weapon on the, on the football field. I mean, it's nothing, it's nothing surprising. Everybody knows that that, that was assault. Um, so I, I think six for him to be suspended only. And I was saying it last night that he should be suspended the rest of the year. But to now, to me, if he's suspended only the rest of the year, it's going to have a slap in the face to me. I, you know, I, I don't know. It, it needs to be much, much more maybe maybe it's six games this year and six games next year. I mean, to me, a full-year suspension makes a lot of sense. Uh, I mean, the guy's only going to be 24 years old when he takes his next snap. He's got a long, long ways to go, and he's got a lot to learn too. Uh, and, you know, kind of the next point is, you know, the comparison of Vontae's perfect, people doing that. I did it on Twitter as well. You can't really compare the two. Because Vontaze Berfix never done this, uh, but it, it's it's interesting to look at because Vontaze Berfix was suspended very early in the year for the whole season for going head to head with somebody mid play, and I know it, it's the main reason he was suspended for that long is because this has come come up before with him, but everything that's come up before with him has been during the play he went head to head, and over time we're like okay it's 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 enough time assuming I suppose. It sure feels like he's doing this on purpose. But I don't know if all if you go and look at these, you say that because you add them up how many times he's done it. But that's really not how you should do things. You need to go in and look at every single one um, you know, of the hits he's done. And, and, and can you 100% say with certainty that he did something on purpose? And, and you can keep in mind that it's during the play. During the play, both guys have their helmets on. And a lot of people don't know how fast the game is. Um, I mean, I played football. I don't know how fast the game is in the NFL. I mean, Vontaze Perfect is faster than all of us, you know, on the football field. I, I mean, 
the size of the guy too. I mean, not just him too. A lot, a lot of different players. We don't know how fast the game is being played. The more and more you watch some of these plays in slow motion, you think it's super slow, and and you try to make and you turn assumptions into guarantees, and you're you're very certain about things, uh, and that's what slow motion will do to you. You see these things in live play, and it, it's a game of milliseconds, really. Uh, I, I mean, these guys play so fast. And my point is you cannot be 100% certain, at least that's my opinion, other people will disagree, but you can't be 100% certain for this year to be specific. You know, he, Vontaze Verfick did what he did on purpose, and he, you can't sit here and say he timed that all on purpose. I don't think that could be done. Uh, and then you look what Miles Garrett did last night. It's not mid-play. He took the guy's helmet off. I mean, forget that. The guy's helmet was off, and he used a helmet, doesn't matter whose helmet, as a weapon to to try to injure the guy because he was pissed at him and because he was coming at him. He 100%, everybody knows it, tried tried to severely hurt the guy. I mean, he really did. And the only time we've really seen that is Albert Hainsworth stomping on a guy's face. And that was really bad, but this is on a whole another level a whole nother level because you legitimately could kill a guy w with what he did with the helmet swinging it like that I mean one of the strongest I mean the size of Miles Garrett how strong he is too I mean you can I mean if that you know I'm putting myself in Mason Rudolph's shoes if I got hit with the helmet like that I feel like I'm knocked out at least I mean Mason Rudolph's a big guy he's a strong guy you know if I feel like if I if I'm getting the head with hitting the head with that helmet I'm at least knocked out you know I think he's very. I think he's very lucky. He's okay, honestly. And to me, it's not his fault. People are trying to blame him. So, all that being said, six games is a slap in the face. Especially, you know, six games in the beginning of a year is a little different than six games at the end of the year, too. To me, now people may disagree because the Browns can make a run or whatever, uh, and I thought they could definitely make a playoff run, um, but. You know, just just he's gonna sit out the rest of the year and on this, I'll say it, shit season for the Browns. Whether they're winning now or not, it's still a shit season because what's going on there, and it's been a losing season for the most part. Um, and I mean, he gets to go work out, he gets to go focus on you know getting better, getting his mind right uh, for next year, the start of next year when the Browns are expected to be good, and he's only gonna be 24 years old. It's a slap in the face. Six games, slap in the face. I mean, it really is. We've never seen anything like this. Um, it, it needs to. It needs to be longer. You know, it needs to be. I mean, it's gonna. It's going to be the rest of this year. They may wait because I mean, what if the Browns make the playoffs? Long shot. But what if they make the playoffs? He's obviously suspended for the playoffs as well. Um, so I guess that adds on to the punishment, which I don't. That's another debate. I don't know if it really should. Because. I don't know, cause you don't you don't really know right now. But I think he needs to be spent this year, and, and um, at the very least, at the very least, four games. I'd say, you know, I almost want to say six, six this year. Um, you know, w which goes with saying the rest of the season he's suspended, and six next year. But you know, I can see it being th three at the very least next year. But probably won't be too happy with that. I think it needs to be at least around that four to six range next year. But I think it should be. I think it should be a lot more, obviously, if I'm saying he should be suspended for a full year. I mean, what's wrong with saying you're suspended for a full year? November 14th, 2020. You know, that that's how I view things. So, um, never seen anything like that. Yeah, I saw Albert Ainsworth stomp on some guy's head. Um, I mean, this is on a whole nother level. Definitely on a whole nother level. Um, was not expecting that. Was not expecting that. Uh, you know, and these two teams play each other in a couple weeks. It's gonna it's gonna be interesting. Everyone's gonna be watching that game. Um, but Miles Garrett won't be playing, and that's the right thing there. And I think it's the right move not to suspend Mason Rudolph, Larry Ogan, Joby. One game. I'm not gonna complain about it, but I explained in the beginning of the video why it makes sense. It, it could be more than that. Two games. Uh, Pouncey, three games. You know, I think Pouncey could appeal it, and it could get down to two, and I won't have a problem with that. But three games, I, I that's probably where I would be at, uh, where I'm fine with, but wow, was not, was not expecting this last night. And it was interesting listening to everybody, uh, and any Browns player you talk to, I mean, they're pretty much lost for words, but you, at the same time saying that, that 
that was wrong, you know, that was bad, pretty much all of them, uh, except for a guy like Ogan Joby that was, like, involved in it, but, um, you know, so I guess credit, it's good, good to, for them, guys like Baker, um, you know, to say that and not just, uh, lie about anything, but I don't know, was not expecting that to happen, but that's my thoughts on it, thought I would talk about that for, for a little bit here, because, you know, why not, but, but yeah. Let me know your guys' thoughts. How many games everyone should be suspended? Did the NFL get it right? I applaud the NFL, too, uh, because they jumped on it fast. And I was starting to worry that it was not even going to be, you know, the season. You know, people are talking about it's going to be a multi-game suspension for Miles Garrett. And I'm like, multi-game? Really? Like, it's – I mean, it doesn't, doesn't sound – if you didn't see it and you, and you just saw he's going to be spending multiple games – you probably were expecting a lot less. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Wild wild Thursday night game. A terrible Thursday night game, but wild ending, obviously. I mean, even Joe Buck and, and Troy Aikman just couldn't believe it. I mean, they couldn't believe it. You can just tell by, you know, how they were acting, what they were saying. So, kind of says it all to, from what you uh, hear from those guys. And there's even coaches talking about it now. So, uh, I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Uh you know, I apologize for not a whole bunch going on in the background of this video. Just kind of wanted to get this out there and give you my thoughts because why not? And it was, you know, I feel pretty strongly about the thoughts too. But that's going to do it for this one. We got all kinds of NFL content, actual in-game and prediction content. This is, to me, this isn't football. This wasn't football here. I mean, I mean it's at way after the play. It wasn't football. Um, so we got real football content, things that actually matter with, with the game itself. Uh, here at the Goat House, and we'll continue to cover you that way uh, in the off season. We have plenty cover. We never stop here at the Goat House. We're always going. So please subscribe. Help us get to that 40k goal. We also also have extra content, a bunch of extra content on the Patreon. There's a link in the description. That's gonna do it for this one, though. Thanks everyone for watching. Goodbye.